an ancient decayed shovel has been stabbed into the top. Billy, you need to get out of here, buddy. Go put your shoes on and get home. Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming and a new LP for the channel. Hooray! This one's called Into the Woods for the PC, of course. I'll put a link, as usual, down below in the description. You can check it out for yourselves. It's a free-to-play indie horror game from a giant pile of indie horror games I'm bringing to you guys. And, uh, yeah, free. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. I saw good things about it, but I also saw that this game was supposedly pretty dark. So that's kind of cool. It's going to be one of those weird indie horror games. And I wanted to play this with a controller, like some of the, you know, third person. You know, this isn't looking down, but it's like Resident Evil kind of third person. Not over the shoulder, which I know that's a third person. But, I mean, let's be honest, that's really not third person. Over the shoulder is almost first person. I think my buddy can agree with me on that one. Uh, and he's a big Resident Evil fan. But you play this little kid and... I think we end up in the woods, just like the title says, but why don't we um, quickly go to the website itself and see what the story says it's supposed to be. Okay, into the woods. Bury the birds. They will fly through the dirt. A short five-minute experience visually inspired by the aesthetics of PS1 survival horror games. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. So let's get back to the game. Okay, here we are. We're playing Billy. I'm just going to call him Billy. That's usually a stereotype little boy's name. So what is little Billy doing here? Various shelves crammed full of books and toys. Okay, typical boy's room. What do we got over here? Okay, can't do anything with that. I see a magazine or something on my bed. Is that a, the latest game magazine? An open book is lying face down on the bed. It's cool how you can interact and everything. So anyways, I'm not going to use the, the joypad, my Xbox controller, because you can only use the directional pad, and it it felt weird. I like the keyboard. It's just you know, wazzed along with the uh, left click. And you can run, so I forgot. Sprint. Oh, never mind, tab. You got an inventory? Okay, that is Resident Evil kind of looking. Oh yeah, they even have the door animation. Wow, that is loud. Uh, that was there. The flower wallpaper. There's no need to enter this door right now. I wonder if that's the same door. Yeah, it was. Well, I highly doubt there's going to be zombies in this game, though. Well, there's no need to enter any of these doors. Come on. Oh, I got a click. Oh, they have the Resident Evil stare animation, too. Is that how I walk? It's like I'm sleepwalking the rate I'm going. Oh, wow. Was not expecting the front door to work there. Let's go back inside. Okay, no need to go in that door. Okay, I guess it is very linear.
Okay, I see a shovel. Oh, it even makes the ground noise. Oh, we're barefoot, aren't we? Yeah, I think we are barefoot. Constant rain has saturated the soil, and a thin layer of water runs along the surface. That is very descriptive. The plants look like they're drowning. Yeah, I bet. Well, I want that shovel, though. Will you take the rusty shovel? Of course I will. We're going to somehow need that. Wherever we're going barefoot. My parents are so arrested if I ever get caught out here like this. The old car is taking up the entire driveway. Okay, so I can't get out. They boxed me in. Where there's a will, there's a way, though. I got a rusty bike here. Oh, I, I actually am leaving on it. Okay, I did not expect that. Man, I'm determined. What the heck did I drive to? Or ride my bike to? The bicycle looks as if it might fall apart if you stare at it any longer. Oh, God. Thankfully, you don't need it where you're going. Leave it here for the rust and woods to devour. What kind of talk is this for a little kid? Why didn't you put shoes on? Can we go on the road? I mean, if you're going to kill yourself, which is what they're kind of insinuating, why don't you just go lay in the road? This is weird. Is that a thing? What is this? You haven't seen anybody drive past you for the last five hours. Oh. Or at least five hours. So we've been biking out here for quite a while to get to this point. Still, it's probably a good idea to keep off the road for safety. I thought that was a thing actually on the ground. Oh, here's a uh, passageway. Oh boy. So I have a shovel. What am I going to do? What did it say in the beginning? Like the birds will fly out of the dirt? Something like that. Very weird. I like these weird games. Like I'm trying to understand before it tells me. Sometimes I get it right, but then like I have no idea. The birds will fly out of the dirt. Oh, this is quite a what a path. Oh, I gotta click, right? Yeah, slip right through that the tree line here. Ooh, I hear something. I'm being a little cautious. I probably could just keep running. I was afraid I'm gonna miss something though. Oh yeah, there is something over here. I see light. Oh, that's cool. It's like a lone tree. Oh, we're on like a, a peak or something. Not quite a peak, but we're way up. The ground suddenly gives way to reveal an expanse of forested valley far, far below. So we are way up. I like that though. It's pretty cool. It's like the morning, uh, the morning sky because we've been biking for a while. Yeah, it's talking about the the huge tree in the background there. He really likes that tree, little Billy. It's got to be like our little like hideaway spot. Maybe our parents are fighting. And this is our way of escape. 
we go out and we start digging or something. Yeah, that's got to be what it is. It's not total, uh, total demonic rituals or anything we're going to walk into. Or, I mean, maybe this kid is going to do something bad. Oh. There's a lot of shovels. I probably come here a lot. Okay, what does this say? A mound of compacted earth juts from the ground like some kind of strange tremor. Tumor. I'm sorry, tumor. It's quite the language for a little kid. An ancient decayed shovel has been stabbed into the top. Billy, you need to get out of here, buddy. Go put your shoes on and get home. Um, looks like the same thing. We got our shovel here. Can't use it here. Guess we're going this way. I almost want to think these are bones or something that we're uh, walking on. Let's see, they all look the same. If we're looking for a mound of dirt without a shovel. Uh, let's go over this way. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I thought I saw something. Alright, and it's different color too. This is it. Oh, so we knew what this was. Oh, we're digging. So that's why we brought it, to dig something up. This is definitely weird. I don't know, it's not like real dark or anything. Well, I guess it kind of is dark. Can you say we're, we won't need the bike where we're going? Oh. Somebody's burying us alive. Roots? Oh god, that sounds bad. Okay guys, so that was Into the Woods for the PC. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. That was dark. Okay, I'll admit it, that was dark. So yeah, it was weird. I don't want my bike, I won't need it where I'm going. And then he ends up digging his grave. Somebody knocks him into it. And then after he gets buried pretty quickly, it sounded like that giant tree spread its roots in there and probably started puncturing through him. And that's how the tree lived was it fed off human nutrients or something like little children. And he was brainwashed. He was just like walk out of the house, biked five hours and then walked over to give himself up. It's it's pretty messed up. I don't know anything else about the story, just what I saw, and uh, it is, it's different, that's for sure. But I liked it. it. It runs really good. There were no bugs. It didn't crash. It didn't glitch, judder, anything like that. It was a really nice experience. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. So now we will move on to the next one. I can't believe we beat yet another one.
Hey, I'm as excited as you guys sound, believe me. Um, <laughs> joking aside, you know, beating games as a blind person with no center vision is like a big triumph for me. So I always do feel good, you know, want to celebrate after every little game. It's kind of a, I don't know, what's the word for it? Like a milestone, you know, that I kind of crossed. So no matter what's wrong with you, how I look at it, you know, if you're paralyzed and only your toes work and you start painting pictures. You ever see that on TV on like Discovery Channel? You got people that are really, really disabled, like hardcore, and they're like doing professional painting or writing and they're using, you know, just like their toes or something. It's really cool to see that kind of stuff. So I am nowhere near that bad. I've only just got the center vision that's gone. But, you know, it's important to me that I can still play games because I always enjoyed games and uh, I can still beat them. And this wasn't hard by any means. It's not even a challenge, but still, it's, it's pretty cool to be able to beat a game. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, as always, later.